So this is a dangerous video to put out because it can, I hope it doesn't get me in trouble. Here are some things we look at when we're pre-screening our tenants. We do not have, by the way, a written set of requirements. Probably should, but we don't. Here's some things I look at. I generally tend to be a pretty flexible landlord when it comes to pre-screening my tenants. I look at credit score. I don't care a whole lot about credit score. Generally 600 or above, but if it's medical bills or student loans that's driving down the credit score, I don't really care so much. However, if somebody's got a $137 Visa card that got put into collections, and a $217 T-Mobile bill, it tells me they don't care about their credit at all. And that means a lot to me. It tells me I don't want them in my life. Why? Because they don't care about their credit. They don't care about their vendors. Not cool, no bueno. So I look at credit score a little bit. I look more about what's got their credit score happen the way it is. Of course, we want to stay below the 33% DTI. So I don't want their rent to be more than one third of their gross income per month. Of course, we're not looking to hire any drug dealers or violent criminals. But again, if it was like something that was a long time ago, I generally don't have an issue with them pretty flexible. They've got to be, as long as the debt to income is good, delinquent on like everything, every line of credit they've got, especially small ones, and they don't have any major background check issues, then I generally don't have an issue letting those people rent a property from me.